so hello everyone. Hi Andrew. Good morning. And how's everybody today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're looking forward to the field trip tomorrow. Um, we've already finished um, another week, so week two's sort of done and dusted. Going to an end, yeah. We have got good weather forecast for the field trip so far, so let's hope for a good day. Yeah, yeah, but still, pack lots of water. Yeah. Anyway, um, so the last week um, you finished off some lectures from Matthias on soil formation. Uh, and also you were in the labs this week and you learnt some new skills um, that will help you when you come out to the field and describe your particular soil profile. So bring those notes that you made during your labs along to the class, It'll just make things a bit easier for you. Uh, also, Andrew, what are some of the sort of key skills that um, people are going to have to sort of utilise out in the field on Saturday? Do you... in the field, well, apart from just a bit of brawn, uh, digging holes, uh, we need to be able to identify horizons. So you, you just need to kind of think about what differences you might expect. So colour, obviously, but also texture and structure um, and maybe changes in, in water content look for things like gravels and mottles and it, you'll get there you'll have some guidance as well great um, and there'll be yeah the, you'll have demonstrators with you now describing soils is quite a skill so the demonstrators have got some broad skills but uh, Andrew and Matisse, Matisse actually have some very good uh, extended skills so if don't don't worry if the demonstrators get stuck um, Andrew and Matthias will be floating around to um, help you out yeah. so um, what can we look forward to next week Andrew well you've got a, a lecture from Matthias on the lateritic profile and it will be important to understand that profile because it is a precursor to a lot of the soils that we find in the Western Australian agricultural regions and elsewhere, the mining regions as well. But of course, we'll be going to one of the agricultural regions tomorrow. And you will hopefully remember some of that lecture and be able to fit it into what we see. Uh, and then that's the end of Matthias and you get me for a while and we start talking about soil physics. So we'll have a fairly gentle introduction to some of the concepts for soil physics, um, understanding volume relationships and porosity and, and texture and things like that. And get a little bit more complex but not too bad as we go. Um, you have a short quiz opening as well so this is one of your first pieces of assessment. Um, what's in the quiz Louise? Yeah. Well I can't be too specific yeah. Andrew but... Uh, You're going to get asked that question. I'm going to get asked that <laughs> question. Now uh, I'll give you some, uh, some broad details everyone um, but don't forget if you go into LMS um, these points are also reiterated. If you go to the left hand pane and look at the assessment descriptions, uh, there's details of what to expect in each of the short quizzes there. But this first short quiz, it opens up on next um, Friday, so Friday, March the 15th at nine o'clock. Okay. Um, this one we're taking it pretty easy because it's for some people you've never done an online quiz so we open it up for two hours so it's it's open for sorry a week but once you start it you've got two hours to complete it and there's about 11 questions in there and the questions relate to uh, the labs and the lectures from the first uh, three weeks excluding Andrew's soil physics uh, lecture. Okay, so it's Matthias's lectures, but also the labs from the first three weeks, including the um, weathering um, lab that you do with Andrew uh, on return from the field trip. Okay, so it is open book, mm -hmm. but can I suggest that in the first instance, you try to answer the question before you go and look at your notes. Because that way you're going to work out what you've what you've retained and what maybe you need to return to in preparation for your exams. It's a good idea. I think consider it a revision experience as well as getting a few marks from it. Yeah, totally. All right. Well, I think that about wraps up things yeah. for now. Um, it does. Busy day tomorrow, so we better get red cracking. Say farewell.
And yeah. Uh, yeah, see yeah. you tomorrow morning. Don't forget the buses are leaving at 7.30. Okay, bye okay. everyone. See you.